Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Take Up Tarot. My name is Rhea and in today's video we are going to be taking a look once again at what you can expect in your life for the next 10 days and of course thank you to each and every person who left a really really nice comment at the end of my previous video in which I was talking about you know your spiritual gifts, how you can maintain it and you know certain careers that are associated with it and I really enjoyed making it and I'm so glad that you enjoyed it equally. So thank you for all of those comments that really really made me feel supremely happy. Now coming back to this video of course you have three piles in front of you pick according to the feathers or the images of course or you can use one of these plates to make the choice easy whichever way speaks to you and of course once you're done we start with pile one. Hello and if you've selected pile 1, these are the messages that you need to receive for the next 10 days and of course we have a lot today because we are also taking romantic messages, we are also taking messages from Sai Baba, so it's like a bit of everything, so stay tuned. But of course we start with monology. Now take time to breathe out. So very likely this is going to be one of those weeks which are going to be very busy. There is going to be a lot on your plate. You're going to be doing multiple things simultaneously. But remember, take it easy. And even if you get 10 minutes, even if you get half an hour, please make sure you're relaxing and utilizing your time effectively. So planning is going to be most important for you for the next 10 days. But, you know, make sure you're giving yourself that time to relax and breathe out. Yeah. And, of course, from your tarot. Oh, okay. Now what I feel like, you know, as much as things are going to be happening in your external life, similarly, your internal life is also heading towards a great deal of change because you're learning to connect a lot more with yourself. You're going to connect a lot more with your inner energies and I believe a particular kind of awakening process is in order for you over the next 10 days. So pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your body and pay attention to whatever messages you are receiving intuitively when it comes to your life. But for some reason, there is a sense of accomplishment. There is a sense of completion. There is the sense of like, okay, I've done this and I've done this well. And very likely you are going to be one of those people this week who are very, very in charge of themselves. You're going to be passionate, you're going to be having a lot of drive and in a way, you know, this is like success coming towards you from all direction. In fact, not only success coming to you generally in life, but people around you are also going to be noticing how successful you are. They're going to acknowledge that you're going to be doing something great in life is also coming forth. But along with that, you know, it is very interesting that you're not really affected by all of those external circumstances because you are just in this beautiful flow of your own self. In a way, you're opening your heart to newer dimensions when it comes to life. You're opening your heart to newer experiences in life. You're very much in the zone of give and take when it comes to your life and your relationships. The most important aspect for you is going to be about friendship. And one thing that is really prominently featuring for you is forgiveness. Maybe forgiveness when it comes to relationships, forgiveness when it comes to friendships. And the reason why all of this is happening because your internal life is going through a major, major transformation for yourself. Yeah, you're very much in your own vibe is what I'm seeing for you. And the reason why all of this is happening is because you're learning a great deal. As a person, you're maturing a great deal because not only are you learning from your everyday circumstances, you're learning from life and sometimes learning from other people as well. So it's like you are on this process of accumulating wisdom when it comes to life. You know, and of course, wisdom can come from the process of awakening itself. So it's a very, very beautiful week, one in which you're going to be wisening up a great deal. And what is happening, you know, you're becoming stronger. You don't feel like, you know, you have a need to depend on external validation, although that external validation is coming. You're strong, you're capable, and you know that you've got it all. And whatever you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing it because you feel like it is the right thing for you to do and not because somebody else is dictating things for you. And remember this once again, the focus for you in the upcoming week is on your relationships. 
and you know remember i spoke to you about friendships but what is going to be happening you are only going to be allowing people in your life now who are there to do something good for you and if you feel like you know oh you know this person is not really great they may be trying to you know uh, use me in certain ways then you're going to be like okay maybe i'm going to be keep keeping these people at a certain amount of distance because because of the awakening process your relationships are also transforming but they're transforming beautifully because somehow the focus for you is on the relationship so whatever awakening is happening it is awakening through your relationships at that but domestic harmony so especially in the past if things have not been going great they are now going to be settling down in a beautiful rhythm when it comes to you I won't be surprised if you meet a lot of new people this week and you know develop a lot of new and extensive friendships for yourself and because the focus is so much on the relationships I'm going to be you know instantly taking your relationship messages so let's see what more is coming through okay deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right once again the awakening so you know what you want you know what is right for you and just do what feels right because clearly you are in a beautiful alignment and harmony with your own internal self this week and wait of course you know what happens is when it comes to the awakening process you know the very first message was give yourself time to breathe out so don't try to make extraordinary changes when it comes to life and relationships once again allow nature to take its course do things easily there is no hurry for you you know especially when it comes to relationship is what is coming forth let's take more look inside yourself so once again you know i feel like for this week to make you sort of understand what is happening for you this is an apt you know representation so look inside because everything that you are going to be experiencing is starting inside out and examine what is causing you to feel this way you know so what is going to be happening you know because you're looking a lot inside then of course certain feelings are going to be coming up and you're going to be resolving those feelings yeah so the journey for the next 10 days is a very much inside process and when it comes to the matters of the heart there is no right or wrong choice every choice you make expands your understanding of love and life so definitely you're becoming wiser as an individual yeah and i feel like you know this has been long coming this has been like a journey that you've taken and this journey is almost on its sense of completion is what i feel yeah let's take a look at more because there's there's a lot of interesting things happening choose wisely be discerning you don't have to keep everything in your net so once again relationships remember i told you who do you want to keep who do you want to let go so you have to be careful about that careful who you allow when it comes to your internal space and your life see you can be acquainted with everybody but when it comes to you know deeper relationships you have to be wise opportunity you will prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas so once again when it comes to your life when it comes to your career you know you are on this journey and you are on this journey to prove yourself worthy to your own self yeah so keep doing what you're doing because you clearly know what you want to do and generosity so very likely you are going to be sharing a great deal okay now sharing can be in terms of helping people out you know helping somebody with their work helping somebody with a kind advice or just you know giving kindly to others and protection remember you're very very protected whether this is in your work whether this is in your life and when it comes to protection of course aqua marine is a very protective stone so if you work with them you can definitely have it and strength stay afloat and feel steady and calm so remember this you know you are absolutely strong there is no doubting your ability at that but remember this you're gaining your strength and it is through you know taking that you know one step away breathing out that you will actually be able to you know really really channelize that strength beautifully yeah that is coming forth and of course we'll take messages from baba and i'll also give you messages from your tea leaf cards to wrap it up let's see in serving others you serve me so generosity so whenever you help somebody you serve baba so that is like the sure short way when it comes to making progress on your spiritual life you know in fact service is a very easy path 
because the only thing that you need to do is you need to ask for others what you would ask for yourself and what you would not have for yourself you should never ask it for others so it's it's just easy you have to see yourself in everybody and in others you have to see yourself okay because in the end it's the divine that lies in everybody and never give up on yourself yeah so once again your journey this week is very inward bound and remember don't quit never quit on yourself no matter what yeah because see life is all about you know riding the wave the wave is going to be up the wave is going to be down but you just have to be strong there and you're capable of so much than you give yourself credit for and surrender the easiest step when it comes to getting anything in life and especially your spiritual life is surrender surrendering to a guru who knows so much better than yourself so surrender and celebrate so the moment you surrender the moment you do not give up on yourself and you do not give up on your belief in miracles you have a lot of cause for celebration <laughs> especially when it comes to your spiritual life now let's see what extra additional messages your tea leaf cards have for you for this week whale great worry over nothing so especially if you are worried about something there is no need to worry possibly a lot is happening in your head space than in your life yeah so just be a little careful don't overthink and dealing so relationship with a younger man so this week a younger man is going to be important can be a brother can be a son can be a friend you know depending and career so there is a focus when it comes to your career as well yeah so once again when it comes to your career you know i don't see any reason to worry in fact i see a cause for celebration for you guys yeah but focus on your work because clearly your work is important to you and yes good advice from a wise person you know once again the very first card that you guys chose was a learning from life and a wise person see look out how you know you just have this hand so once again this is about you know somebody who is wiser somebody who is spiritually wiser so maybe pay attention to them and they'll help you out and honor and respect will come to you so you are on the journey of getting honor and respect when it comes to your life and you deserve it i'll be honest deep friendship with someone of the same sex you are really going to probably connect over a cup of tea and yeah this person belongs to the same sex and romance celebration and party so clearly for a couple of you there is something fun happening maybe a birthday maybe this is an happy occasion but that is there for you and seek out information that will help you so when it comes to your life if you feel like you know you don't have all the information that you need seek it out from a wise person once again and that will help you out and one more an exciting event so clearly something is going to be happening maybe there will be an announcement happening you know especially with the gong or an exciting event that will make you feel like oh this is amazing yeah but on that note i am going to be stopping here so there is a great deal happening for you mostly on your spiritual life a lot on your internal life and that internal life is going to be having the greatest amount of beautiful effect on your external life so as always as i wrap this up i'm going to be leaving you with my best wishes and i'll see you in my next one bye hello and if you've selected pal 2 these are the messages that you need to receive for the upcoming 10 days let's take a look at what is in store for you and of course as always we start with moonology okay now this week you know one thing i really have to tell you you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be anybody else that you're not you just have to be yourself so take your real authentic self with you wherever you go you don't have to hide you don't have to mold yourself in somebody's vision of you you are you you're born unique so that is what you need to exhibit to the world and you're good yeah you're good i don't really see any need for you to be anybody else you guys are beautiful people <laughs> okay so this one more okay you have two phones four of swords three of pentacles four of pentacles okay now predominantly the energy for you is very very stable yeah it is like you know you want to like protect yourself you want to take care of yourself and you don't really want to make any major changes to your life possibly you are very much in the zone of comfort and you happy doing what you doing in fact i don't see you guys doing anything drastic this week because it's almost like you feel this need to you know rest 
you feel this need to just settle down settle down with your energies and just go with the ebb and flow of your life and do that if you feel like that's something that you need yeah but i feel like you're going to be making some effort when it comes to your spiritual life you're going to be making an effort to calm down and relax but at the same time you know you're not able to completely relax as well because your mind is constantly going okay you're constantly making plans you're constantly thinking about what you should do to make certain things happen for a couple of you travel plans are also likely so short distance trip is very much on the cards for you so maybe a couple of days you know two days three days that is possible but you want to sort of get out of you know your mind for one is what i'm saying here even though you don't want to make a lot of changes in your life you just want to get out of your mindset is what is coming through but at the same time you're going to be busy when it comes to your work you're probably very focused on what you want to achieve you're also working with others to probably gain something significant when it comes to your life but there is harmony here there is cooperation here so probably you're going to be surrounded with people who really really care for you who care for your well-being and who want to work with you to really really make you into something good yeah there is harmony when it comes to everything so when there is harmony there is no need to be anybody else than you not for a couple of people you are also going to be making certain financial decisions safe financial decisions so this basically means that maybe you're trying to safeguard yourself for the future but no risk taking is what i'm seeing for you but you're headed towards very different kind of a life is what i'm seeing here but one thing you have to be careful of is pride see once again when you're showing the real self to the world it shouldn't be like you know i am this i am that i have accomplished so much it should just be like i am this and i'm comfortable with who i am so make sure you're not really having some kind of pride associated with whatever you have accomplished when it comes to life humility takes a person a long long way more than anything else and leadership So remember this no matter what when it comes to life you know even though people are really really working beautifully with you you still have to have that little bit of charge with yourself you need to know where you want to take your life okay and you have to like sort of take the lead and be in the leadership position so for a couple of you who have actually been wanting to progress towards the next level of your career the possibility starts this week I'm not really saying that it is going to be happening immediately but you know it's like the first signs of progress that are really showing up for you and leadership is something that is just a natural progression of it but there is also a great deal of realization coming towards you so especially if you are taking a step back especially if you are going on some kind of vacation you're going to be realizing a couple of things you're going to be having a couple of aha moments and it's almost like you know after periods of darkness there is light yeah and this light is going to be helping you tremendously so for a couple of you i won't be surprised if you like go on a spiritual trip a trip of understanding a trip where you get to really really you know relax is what i'm seeing here but there is a great deal of realization on a personal level when it comes to you now interestingly you're also planting a couple of new seeds so maybe this is like the ending of a phase and the beginning of something new so maybe you're heading in a new direction you're planting some new dreams you're taking up some new projects but there is this sense of newness i'll give you messages from your relationships soulmate look at that your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will physically manifest so two ways maybe you already have a soulmate in your life who's probably physically at a distance from you or you will meet this person very very soon but a connection with a possible soulmate is on the cards for you for my single friends this clearly is good news power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away any time once again leadership so when it comes to life remember you are always in the driver seat and when you are going to a place with your authentic self you're always in the driver seat but just make sure to be careful of pride because where there is power pride is sometimes following yeah but you'll always know what is right for you even when it comes to relationships even when it comes to recognizing a potential partner and don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others so don't let anybody guilt trip you yeah if you feel like something is for you go with it if you feel like you know oh maybe this is not for me just don't 
and you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is a higher purpose the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so when it comes to relationships remember when things don't really go well or when things are shaking out or they are just becoming a little different remember it is always for the greatest good and specifically for you whatever is happening is going to reveal a blessing to you and prudence don't be lured by the siren song so if somebody is telling you something that is too good to be true don't believe it <laughs> okay it's simple as that so once again you have to be in the driver's seat and take the helm you have to be in control of your own ship taking guidance is great but you know steer it in your own direction without pride <laughs> that's it and communicate so once again when it comes to relationships you know don't be like you know you're not saying anything like you really want to say something but you're not saying it you'll regret it let me tell you this so say something with kindness but say it regardless okay and safety don't be too proud to go back to the shore so if you feel like you've made certain mistakes don't be afraid to you know go back to safety and listen yeah the secret of the sea is become apparent when we listen to the sound within the shell so once again you have to sort of disconnect yourself from the noise of the world and really take you know time to listen to two things one is your own soul and second is the soul of the universe which is like the divine soul i'll give you messages from baba when it comes to your spiritual life let's see what baba has to say okay you have multiple cards already forgiveness okay now clearly there is somebody that you have to forgive this week okay and maybe you are filled with a lot of pride and you really don't want to forgive them but at least try take the first step towards it yeah that's what i'm going to be telling you and duality remember two things can be right but in the end the two things too you know come together so once again it is similar for your spiritual paths you can be simultaneously called to true paths so explore both and once you explored both go back to something that you feel is right for you but once again duality is all about respecting people's beliefs even though they are different from your own yeah so their duality comes to play as well and remain centered no matter what when it comes to your life pile to the most important thing for you is to remain centered because what happens is you somehow you know have this tendency of not being in control okay you probably very easily swayed you're like sometimes going here you're sometimes going there without really knowing where you belong you need to know where you belong that's important especially when it comes to spiritual life so if there is somebody who is very prone to changing their spiritual practices often do not do that yeah remain centered and dedicate to sai and if you cannot understand the right path for yourself dedicate it to sai ask for a higher power to come to assist you and ask them to show, show you your way forward so dedicate to sanya i'll give you one more new beginnings okay so clearly the very first card makes sense plant seeds so clearly you're making that you know effort towards a new beginning sometimes it can happen organically do but remember there is something happening in your spiritual life too you're moving away from darkness to light and you probably gaining a deeper understanding of spirituality and you're like getting a new direction when it comes to it yeah but overall these are the messages that are coming forward towards you for the next 10 days and as always as i wrap this up i'm going to be leaving you with nothing but my best wishes i'll see you in my next one bye hello and if you've selected pile 3 these are the messages that you need to receive for the upcoming 10 days let's take a look first of all i'm just going to give this to you okay because clearly there is something happening that is making you feel super relaxed probably you're actually going on a vacation or just having a good time there is a sense of relaxation to this picture that i absolutely enjoy and that will translate for you when it comes to your week so enjoy in fact i am going on a vacation myself and yeah i hope i enjoy myself too so yeah uh, once again something that you need to know is your loved ones are safe and you are safe too so if you're worried when it comes to you know people you love you're worried about something related to family no need to worry you're safe and you are absolutely going to be taken care of the universe is completely in charge okay 
you have okay amazing now first of all let me tell you the upcoming 10 days are going to be marking a great amount of change for you but remember this change is just super positive yeah because i feel like this change for you will almost shape the upcoming year for you yeah it's almost like all the beneficial things that are supposed to be coming for you are now on this way in and the reason for this is probably because spiritually you're making a lot of progress and because of maybe somebody's guidance or some you know uh, insight coming towards you you're going to be getting a great deal of clarity about what you need to do for the upcoming 10 days and also for your future because for the next 10 days i don't really see any iota of doubt cropping up when it comes to your life you're absolutely sure of yourself yeah you're probably also going to be having a lot more ideas you're going to be thinking about what you need to do and you're actually going to be taking step towards it there is also a beautiful balance coming towards you for the next 10 days you know there is like you are absolutely in control of your emotions you're in control of your relationships things are going harmoniously and on the other end you're very very balanced even when it comes to your passion when it comes to drive when it comes to your ambition so this is like you're the best of both worlds for the next 10 days you have things under control that is coming forth for you and you know this is a very interesting place to reach because when a person is able to control their emotions and their mind this is like you know having the best of both worlds and that is where you are getting at and look at this look at your cards peace see how similar this is so once again you're going to be finding peace within you're probably also going to be meditating excessively you're going to be getting more in tune with your spirituality and more than that more in tune with yourself because look at this you know this lady has her eyes closed this man has his eyes closed in here too so this is like you know your inward world is at peace and the moment you come at peace inside outside has to be beautiful yeah so you're heading towards that change in the next 10 days is also coming through healing no wonder you are healing so you know whenever it comes to the red card it's like you know the possibility of future healing for you is also open now so healing of the past is also happening and because you're resolving certain things from your past your future promises to be better maybe you're resolving certain relationships issues too and healing is coming through beautifully when it comes to you so good things yeah physical healing too and gratitude there is a lot that you're going to be having to be grateful for so enjoy the next 10 days is what i'm going to be telling you there is a beautiful balance here but one thing let me tell you stop worrying the only thing that can take away from this beautiful vibe is your own mind which worries so you know just relax relax and once again give yourself space to heal most important and patience the tide will come in when it is ready so try not to force things just go with the flow go with the process because the process in itself i see is beautiful when it comes to you turbulence yes okay now just what i said you know even though things are at peace even though things are harmonious everything is going to go beautifully your mind may still be like oh you know what if this happens oh what if that happens you know that usually happens when a person has gone through a lot when it comes to your life so you know remember your mind you need to control probably with meditation with centering yourself but yeah turbulence self-care <laughs> this is like the ultimate form of self-care and this is like my ultimate form of self-care so whichever way you want to go you want to go this way you want to go that way the choice is yours but remember if you've been very busy take time to disconnect and care for yourself very very important sometimes to just sit with your own energies and wild believe in your otherworldly beauty dance with the waves and drink with the sunshine so do what you want to okay this week that is what i'm going to be telling you do what you want to do what you've always wanted to do cater to your own self that's i think due for you and let's see what your love messages have for you look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean so clearly somebody loves you deeply already yeah so maybe this is somebody in your life or maybe this is somebody who's coming in the future but clearly my dears you're very very deeply deeply loved and 
surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out so once again be wild take care of yourself and surrender don't try to control anything and just allow yourself to heal and okay i'll give you both playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer whether this is in your romantic relationships or whether this is in your personal relationships remember love in all forms is the greatest healer and if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not in your mind for the heart is the gateway for your soul i love how wholesome your reading is you know all cards just came out with the vibe of the entire week yeah so your heart is the gateway to your soul ask your heart what it wants and it will guide you from baba yes there is spiritual growth here see the moment you can just surrender the moment you can just let yourself you know go with the flow there is nothing more there to you know discover so spiritual growth absolutely compassion yeah so it's all about positivity this week you know have compassion in your heart for others have kindness in your heart for yourself because once again you had the card of self care as well and remember compassion always start with yourself you cannot you know be a compassionate person unless you're not compassionate to yourself so compassion very important and truth what is your truth the truth is always love there is no other truth out there in the world and meditation i'll i'll leave you with that i hope you find peace this week because the vibe is clearly there the planets are aligned now it depends on how you utilize this time because remember it is all about your mind if you allow yourself to rest and be happy you'll be supremely happy this week but if you just listen to that little bit of your mind who's like oh maybe not maybe not and of course i'll give you your tea leaf cards uh you have hammock so taking a vacation physically or mentally absolutely there and family matters yeah so once again your family is going to be important for you this week um wealth maybe taking a family vacation is also possible a great happiness i love it a marriage will take place either romantic or business so maybe you know when it comes to relationship marriage is also possible for you or the possibility of you know having a marriage take place very much there and secret admirer you clearly have somebody who really really admires you and a advice from a friend so maybe a friend is going to give you some good advice as well light hearted carefree times so you got to be having a good time a uh, period of prosperity and abundance is also coming towards you so it's a good week yeah it's going to be a good week which is remember don't be super proud of things yeah and good luck yeah so once again saturn coming through with lot of favors for you and remember this is hard earned if whatever you're getting you're getting it out of coming out of a state of saturn you deserve it because saturn has been difficult especially for those who faced it so i get you and if you're now getting that little bit of respite you deserve it but overall these are the messages that you need to receive when it comes to your life and as always as i wrap this up i'm going to be leaving you with nothing but my best wishes i'll see you in my next one bye